What is up guys and welcome back to another episode of the Monoposto Track Guide series. Today we have episode number 14 at the iconic Spa-Francorchamps circuit in Belgium. So this is obviously one of the most famous tracks in Formula 1 and it's also quite a technical circuit with the lap being over 7 kilometers in length, the longest circuit in this game. So be sure to like, share and subscribe if you're enjoying these videos, if you're finding the series helpful. Also comment down below if you've got any questions about any of these hot laps. And without further ado, let's just get straight into it. Starting off with the setup. At Spa, I think it's actually more beneficial to use kind of a mid downfall setup because I did quite a few practice laps where I was running, running very low wings. However, actually after I switched to a middle setup, you can see with the wings adjustment slider between between the S's of wings and setup so it's about the middle that's where you want I actually found it was a lot lot better simply because some of the corners for example through Puan and also through Blanchemont they seem to be a lot tighter a lot sharper than in real life so I actually found it was more beneficial to have more downforce on the car and that's what helped me with the lap time the most you can experiment for whatever helps you but that's what I found so that's what I'm basing this hot lap off as you're starting the lap however you come to the bus stop chicane you want to come as deep as possible as you're starting the lap to maximize the exit get the power down as early as possible up into ERS immediately on the exit DRS wide open you'll probably be on the right hand side you want to move your car over towards the left hand side as you approach turn number one this is quite a sharp little corner at La Source I always get caught out or I had to do in practice whenever I was doing this corner because you can see sometimes if you brake too late or even if you steer too aggressively the car just bottoms out so you have to be really important to straight line brake completely let off the throttle and let the car coast through the corner and then get on the power once you've straightened up on the exit the braking point was at level with the start of the curb I believe the red and yellow curb if not then you can probably go just before the 50 meter board that would do fine but just make sure you straight line brake it try not to lock up on the exit up into ERS and then you're blasting all the way down the hill past the site of where the old exit would be and now of course Eau Rouge and Radion. You can't take this flat in Monoposto. I've also found that since the recent patch update that came out it's the steering just seems to be a lot less sensitive so you do have to really feel like you're forcing the car more. However, this corner, the best advice I could give is as you get to this part, it's a slight lift off and then a slight fraction dab on the brake and then get straight on the power. So at the bottom of the hill, lift off for a fraction, coast upwards and then it's a dab on the brake and then you straight back on the power up into ERS all the way down, DRS wide open, blasting along the Kemmel straight and that's the end of sector one. At the chicane, you want to brake. To be honest, if you're using, if you're not using ERS at the 100 meter board, but if you are, you've got a little bit of extra top end speed. So you want to break a little bit before the 100 meter board. I found the chicane has felt a lot tighter since the recent update with the steering has been installed. So yeah, I would just recommend braking slightly earlier to make sure you can turn into the corner. The steering feels a lot more difficult, especially if you're running virtually no assists like me. Then just through the chicane, you can use the curbs on either side through there and then you just a slight dab on the brake pedal as you head down towards this what is well I suppose it is a hairpin isn't it it's just a very very long right hander in this game you only don't need to brake much you usually just two dabs on the brake pedal will do just fine and then for this next left hander thread the car through just like that and then you're keeping the car on the right hand side you can have a bit of a bout of ERS as you head towards Puon now Puon is a lot tighter and a lot bouncier I suppose than it is in real life you can see if you try to take it flat or even just a slight brake pedal you just can't do it it's just not possible so at the 50 meter board it's like two dabs on the brake pedal and then you kind of need to lift off a bit you can use the inside curb there and that little bit of blue runoff however I would advise trying to come as wide as possible because that opens up this next bit of the corner which is really difficult because there's a huge bump there you can run over that bit of the inside curb and you can use this curb on the exit on the right hand side as well then once you've used that you need to bring your car over to the left hand side and then it's just as that blue runoff starts on the right hand side couple of dabs on the brakes use that inside curb let the car roll through here that is a very very tight corner do not get on the power too early otherwise the car will spin out and now for Blanchimont a mistake to make is do not get on the power as soon as you come out of the corner exit because that happens you already carry too much speed and that means you just can't take it flat so you need to wait until you've got on the power until you've come through 
this next corner here you can use the curb on the left hand side and once you've come through that apex then you can go up into ERS like I have done now but you can see if you do it too early you'll see you just find what happens is like in the outtakes you'll just end up spinning out because the car can't take that much speed this corner here is just one little dab on the brakes it is a slight lift in monoposto you can't take it flat depending on what assist you're running but if you're driving properly then you shouldn't be taking that flat and then for the bus stop chicane it's 100 meter board or at the blue runoff this is when i brake at the start of the blue runoff if you're less confident with your trail braking though you can just brake straight in a straight line at the 100 meter board turn in early there's green runoff that's not grass on the inside there so you can use that if you need to and then take a much earlier apex this time you can come a little bit wider but make sure you don't crash into the side of the pit wall you want to make sure you come wide but not too wide so make sure your car is on the right hand side that's the path of least resistance but sort of heading in a straight line at this kind of trajectory eventually towards turn one up into ERS if you've got any left DRS will be open too and that's it for a lap of spa it is quite a technical circuit I appreciate I've gone through it pretty quickly if you do have any questions feel free to put them down in the comments below I will be sure to get back to you and yeah thanks for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it if you did please be sure to like share and subscribe and now enjoy my complete lap of spa and I'll see you guys all in the next track guide.